The train that came from the east and rolled into London's East End. In ceremonious style, this is the first freight train from China's Zhejiang province to Britain, and it's back as hope, the beginning of a frequent service between the two countries. It's very exciting. This is modern rail freight in action, international rail freight, and we want more of this. We want to get uh, more freight off our congested road networks, for example, in the UK and across Europe, and um, it's much cleaner. It's also much safer than road freight. The train's journey began in the city of Iwu, a historically important trading center. It's traveled across Kazakhstan, Russia and Germany, went through the Channel Tunnel to arrive in London on Wednesday. The freight has crossed 12,000 kilometers in just under 18 days and the containers are holding textiles and other consumer goods. And in a post-Brexit Britain, which is looking at expanding its trade beyond the European Union, this may well be a desirable option. There is an increasing middle class in China of hundreds and hundreds of millions who are educated, internationalized, curious about advanced uh, engineering uh, products, about innovative creative design, and that's something that the UK is particularly good at. This is a really, really key time for the UK to succeed in China. This new Silk Route is taking on the increasing trade between Europe and the Far East. There is already a service in place between Iwu and Madrid, with one train a week leaving Spain with goods bound for China. It's twice as quick as shipping and half the cost of air transport. And it's an opportunity for EU countries to capitalize with their fastest growing export market. Trade between China and the EU amounts to about a billion dollars per day. The UK's trade is $70 billion per year. Out of that, it imports $55 billion worth. But this month heralds the start of the year of the rooster in the Chinese horoscope. A year of progress and opportunity, say believers. Certainly a hope for those batting for a UK looking beyond the confines of the European Union. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, London.